Let's begin this video with a question. Can you guess how many satellites are operational today as we speak? We have currently approximately 1400 functional satellites which are serving different market avenues. Now this number has increased by 39% over the last five years and is expected to grow substantially over the coming years as well. Let's put a dollar sign in front of that number. So in 2014, the sector's revenue was about $208 billion. And since then, we have experienced an overall industry growth of 3% globally. I know it doesn't sound a lot. However, this percentage is slightly above the world economic growth of 2.4% in 2014. So today, our space industry is worth approximately $335 billion. If for whatever reason I have failed to grab your attention towards our industry till now, I do hope that this will help ignite an interest as to what our industry is really up to and you, as a taxpayer, how are you benefiting from this? So where is all this growth in this sector coming from? Let's enter the inner sanctum of space, shall we? Space has essentially two segments, upstream and downstream. I am sure most of you have already figured out what these terms stand for. As the name suggests, upstream is very much focused on sending objects into space. But what do we do with these objects? Of course, there has got to be some sort of purpose to these missions. So the mission is usually to get some sort of data and send it back to Earth to make some sense of it. And this is exactly where downstream comes into the picture. Downstream utilizes this data from satellites in a range of different applications. Now let's look at a few examples of upstream. Upstream usually constitutes of satellite design, development, testing, manufacturing, launch, space transportation, ground segment, and any sort of research and consultancy. Whereas downstream focuses on things like TV and radio broadcasting, communications which includes oil and gas exploration, telemedicine, disaster recovery, defense activities, earth observation, which includes mapping border control, environmental protection, navigation, our favorite. Of course, it includes road navigation, location-based services, any sort of surveying activities, telematics, precision agriculture, and so on. I hope now it's clear that space sector isn't just about sending objects into space. The industry has identified that downstream ex is exactly where the greatest growth in the sector will come from and where the greatest number of opportunities reside. As such, our industry needs entrepreneurs and engineers who can translate upstream research and data into downstream applications. However, the greatest challenge now is for our industry to become more outward looking. What I mean by that is it needs to connect with other sectors globally that can benefit from space applications, data and services. The idea here is to be able to create a space enabled economy whereby space hardware provides new advantages that lead to growth, new jobs, increased market share in areas not conventionally linked to space. So if you have an idea or a business model that capitalizes upon satellite data, now is the time to enter this industry as there are plenty of investment opportunities that are looking to invest in such businesses. I hope you found this video informative. And if you're new to my channel, please do subscribe and like this video. And do share your thoughts on what sort of uh, contents I should be publishing in my future videos. Again, this is your space girl Shifali, and thank you for watching this video. Bye bye.